Hello math learners! In this video we're going to be going over interval notation as a way to represent real numbers. So before we go on with examples, you guys need to know that interval notation can only be used to represent real numbers. It may not, it may not, look at my second bullet point, it may not be used to represent any subset of real numbers. And what do I mean by that? Subset of real numbers would be natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers. Let's do an example. So if I'm trying to illustrate real numbers greater than or including six. So we're talking about real numbers here, greater than or including six. So six is on our one end of the spectrum and we go all the way up to, they don't tell us where to stop. So we're gonna go all the way up to infinity. So how do I do this? Well, on a number line, pretty simple we go like this we indicate 6 on our number line because it is greater than or including 6 we use a dot that is colored in now a dot that is colored in means including so a dot that is colored in and now I'm going to do a bad job of coloring in but it's okay that is including so in other words including that value and an empty dot like that means excluding. Okay, so it's including six, and now it stretches in the positive direction, but it goes all the way to infinity. So we just use an arrow that extends in the positive direction, implying that our set is going to go up to infinity, positive infinity. Here's a, another example, but I need to finish my example. <laughs> so we've got six. And then we use our semicolon and it's going up to infinity. Now, be careful. We're including the six. When we include a number, we use square brackets. And when it comes to infinity, we always use our round brackets. We don't have a definite value for infinity, so we're just going to use our round brackets. And there we go. Here's another example. Real numbers between negative two and six excluding six but including negative two so if we exclude six it needs to be an open dot like you see there including negative two would be this colored in dot over here so we go from negative two we go to six obviously we put negative two on this side because it's smaller than six and this is the number line and then when we represent it like this with our brackets negative two is including so we use our square brackets and six is excluding so we use our round brackets Two examples, real numbers less than but not including three. So here's our number line. We've got less than, so here's three. As we know, if we go this way, so if we go to the left, that's going to be less than but not including. So our dot needs to be open. We're going to have an arrow that goes like that. So we've got less than but not including three. So on which side in our brackets do you think that our three must go? Well, we're going less than three. So that means our numbers stretch all the way to negative infinity. Because if I go less than three and I go all the way, that's going to go to negative infinity. And we use a round bracket with negative infinity. And then we said it goes to three, but not including three. So it's going to be another round bracket, which means excluding. One more example, real numbers between four and seven excluding four but including seven so again we need to be careful think of it in terms of our line like this so we've got four over here we've got seven over here i'm going to indicate that my line goes on that way and that way with arrows it says between four and seven okay so we've got four we've got seven excluding four so our dot our little circle over here is going to stay open because it excludes four but including seven. So I'm going to have to color in that dot because we're including seven. And then we're gonna attach these with a line implying that it's covering all the real numbers here in between four and seven. And obviously please make sure your line is straight. Mine's a bit curved because I'm struggling to write on my thingy, my tablet. How do I do this in terms of brackets? So I'm going to go, it's excluding four. So that is a round bracket like that with a four then our semicolon, and it includes seven, which is our square bracket. And there you go. Now you can do interval notation.